Hello everyone! Today I am going to show you how to cook these super delicious short ribs. The list of ingredients is going to be in the description box down below. Let's get started! Stir by preheating about a quarter of a cup of oil of your choice. I'm using avocado oil. You can use olive oil or whatever other oil you like. Once the oil has preheated, start carefully placing, start carefully placing the short ribs in the oil. And make sure you put it with, this is the bone, this is the meat. Make sure to put them, oops, the meat is stuck down. And let them cook for about two minutes. And after two minutes, I'm going to flip them over. And it is spluttering, so be careful. Initially, it splutters when the oil is hot and you first put the meat in. So once you flip them over, Take some sea salt, kosher salt, Himalayan salt, whatever salt you like, regular table salt. I love Himalayan salt. So sprinkle each one of them with a little bit of Himalayan salt. And then the same thing with black pepper. And I'm not a huge fan of using black pepper because it makes me sneeze. But just a little bit. And now I'll let them cook on the bottom side for another two minutes before I take them out. At the end of the two minutes, I'm gonna start taking them out and setting them on a plate. They're not done. We're gonna be cooking more. Setting them on a plate. And I have about four or five more left. So I'm gonna cook those as well. If we do two minutes on each side. We starting with the, um, starting with the meaty side first. All right, I'm back. And don't forget when you flip them with the bone side down, don't forget about salt and black pepper. All right, don't remove the oil. Don't change it, change the heat. Keep it on medium, I'm literally exactly on medium. And I will show you the next step. For the next step, you will need a clove of garlic, a whole clove of garlic and a sharp knife. I'm gonna turn so you can see that I'm trying not to have any fingers in the line of cutting, but slice it in a half across the whole garlic cloth, or garlic head, I should say, just as such, and just get rid of any loose skin. We don't need that. Whatever it's loose, get rid of it. Next, take one whole head of onion, and we are going to slice the onion in the half with the skin with everything. Okay, and the next step. And while the burner is still on medium, and I'm gonna turn it just slightly below medium, just to be safe, I'm gonna put the garlic head face down, and this guy face down, the same fat where we cooked, where we cooked the, the short ribs, or where we sauteed the short ribs. And then I'm gonna put the onion here as well. And I will let them simmer for, I would say, a couple of minutes. Make sure, make sure it doesn't burn. So with a fork or tongs, just we just need everything to be slightly caramelized. And with the garlic, it's very important not to get it all burned. So I had to take the the, the pan off the burner because I was on the phone for good four or five minutes. So now I turn it back and to medium and we'll see how long approximately it's gonna take to get these guys to be caramelized. All right, so this is what I call caramelized. So I'm gonna flip the onions now, if I can, on the opposite side. I can do it without burning myself. Just as such. See, that's, that's caramelized. There you go, right here. Okay, so I'm gonna cook them on the other, on the opposite side. And the garlic, the little guys are fine. They're done, probably. Yeah, the little guys are done, but this one needs just a little more. And I'll be right back. All right, we're just about done with the caramelizing. So now, you see the garlic? Here, let me show you. 
this is what I mean when I say caramelized. So it took about seven minutes, um, but we don't we don't want to burn it. So that's why I kind of prefer to keep it below medium because I don't want anything to be burned. And if you're using a Teflon or non-stick pan like me, I'm gonna turn this down. Uh, be careful with the metal tongs not to scratch the bottom. And for this one, I'm gonna, just because my garlic fell apart, I'm gonna have to use wooden spatula to, to take the garlic pieces out. All right, so now I have I have the burner between, right in the middle between medium and low. And the next thing I'm going to throw in the oil. Oh, look at that. It's fresh thyme. Now look at this one, still has a little, still has little flowers. Okay, so we're gonna throw a bunch of thyme. And my oil, it's still a little too hot. So if you buy your thyme in a little packaging like this from the store, I used about half of it. Alright, I gotta wait for the oil to cool down a little bit before I do the next step. I am going to add to this a quarter of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. Alright, just be careful because I know it's gonna splatter now because my oil is way too hot for this. I'll try to be... Oh no, it's good, perfect. Yeah. Now I'm gonna turn it up because I need the Worcestershire sauce too start cooking a little bit. Once the Worcestershire sauce starts to, to heat up, you will feel it in your eyes. Um, it's gonna start burning a little bit, but once it starts reducing, we're gonna keep the burner in medium. And I'm using two insides of celery stalks. So I remove the outside, about six or seven celery sticks. I remove them. So these two stalks, I'm gonna place right over here. I'm gonna throw in here about five baby carrots and you can add more carrots if you'd like. I just don't want the dish to be too sweet. So I just want like a hint of sweetness. So I'm just using five baby carrots. And I will let this stuff saute for, since it's on low or medium, it's pretty slow. So I'm gonna let it saute for probably six, seven to eight minutes. So those have been cooking on one side for about four minutes now and I'm gonna flip them over and set the other side as well. I'm not sure if I can do this with the carrots because they're round. And I'm done sauteing the celery sticks and or stacks I should say and the carrots and I'm gonna take them out as well and we're gonna have one last step here. One last step in the pan. We have other stuff going on. Now, I am going to pour three cups. I think this is three cups. But I'm gonna pour the whole thing because I don't know beef broth. Because I don't know when I'm gonna need beef broth again, so I don't wanna waste any. I think this is actually four cups. But that's totally fine. Make sure to shake it first because stuff tends to settle on the bottom. And at this point, I'm gonna turn the heat up almost too high, just so I can bring it to boil. Yes, the beef broth is just about to start bubbling. So at this point, I'm gonna turn it on low and just simmer it for about 15 minutes. And now, it's, it has been 15 minutes, so I turned off the, uh, the beef broth and I am going to arrange in the crock pot not arrange, but just also on the bottom. I'm not really arranging anything. The carrots, the celery sticks, the onions. And next, I'm going to arrange all the short ribs in with the bone up. Make sure that the meat side is down and the bone side is up. And just arrange them next to one another. Okay, I really hope you like this recipe because it is going to turn out wait until it's done don't stop watching i'm not <laughs> not done yet keep watching and i'm on a keto diet so i cannot eat potatoes but if you like potatoes you can throw a couple of potatoes in there as well and finally i'm gonna pour the beef broth in the what we have left 
have the rosemary, not rosemary, the thyme. We're gonna pour it in there. And actually, you see, in this case, because I'm using a smaller crack pot, in this case, I'm gonna have to add water because that's not enough beef broth. We want the meat to be covered. So I'll grab some water and I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pour water here so I can rinse off all the juices. And now keep in mind that I'm cooking for four people for two meals. So that's four pounds of short ribs. So if you're only working with a smaller amount, like two pounds or so, you will not have to add additional liquid, but that is perfect. This is what we want it to look like. And then I'm gonna close the lid. I'm gonna set the crack pot on high. And this is where the battery and my camera apparently died. So you will have to cook the short ribs in the slow cooker on high for five hours. And that will deliver those perfectly cooked short ribs. They're very tender, very juicy, and very delicious. And here is how I serve them. I arrange a plate. So if you're eating potatoes, you can serve it with the potatoes. However, I don't. So I serve the short ribs and a bed of cooked beans. I cook those in the pressure cooker and some roasted bell peppers. And then I place a short rib on the top of the beans and pour some of the juice from the slow cooker over the rib then sprinkle some more Himalayan salt, some freshly chopped parsley, and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please give the video a thumbs up. If you tried the recipe, please come back and leave a comment and let me know how you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Goodbye.